The total solar eclipse that was visible across North America on April 8th is expected to bring an economic boom to the US, with one estimate saying it could generate $6 billion in economic activity. 현지 시간으로 4월 8일 북미 지역에서 관측된 개기 일식이 미국의 경기 부양 효과를 일으킬 것으로 예상되는 가운데 일각에서는 60억 달러, 우리 돈으로 8조가 넘는 경제 활동이 있을 것으로 추산했습니다. 어, 바로 몇 시간 전에 네. 미국에서 이 Total Solar Eclipse가 관측이 됐죠. Yeah. Yes, uh, when I woke up this morning, I, I checked social media and it mm. was filled with, with pictures, posts and comments yeah. and pictures about the eclipse. Yeah. It's a yeah. very big deal for North America because they're not going to get another one for another 21 years. Oh, really? According to NASA, the next oh. total solar eclipse visible in the US won't occur until 2045. Uh -huh. um, so basically, I think the whole country went yeah. out. Mm -hmm. if, if you were within the path, yeah. then you wanted to see what was going on. And uh, I think also it's after the pandemic now and more people want yeah. to get out and sure. about. It's spring, the weather's mm -hmm. warm. Mm -hmm. And so there, there were viewing parties across the country in various cities, yep. special events. Um, uh, Texas is looking like a gain of something like $1.4 billion from the yeah. eclipse. It's a very big yeah. deal. Yeah, absolutely. This total solar eclipse was observed right from Mexico and up until Canada. And uh, people are saying that the totality, that's the term they seem yes. to be using, you know, when it was totally eclipsed, that lasted for longer than ever before. So not ever before, but definitely longer than the last total solar eclipse yeah, they it's, had. It's been a, a big yeah. deal. This kind of event, mm. I think, ever since the birth of mankind, mm -hmm. We've always been mystified and excited and a little bit scared mm. when there's an eclipse like this because it is as if, I don't know, mm. the, 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 the whole galaxy is changing. Yeah, absolutely. Well, 길게는 한 4분 정도 동안 이렇게 완전히 달이 해를 가리는 아, 개기 일식이 관측이 됐다고 합니다. 많은 사람들이 이걸 보기 위해서 제가 이제 아침에 BBC랑 CNN 뉴스 영상들을 좀 찾아보니까 뭐 미국 내에서는 뭐 어떤 관광객은 8시간 동안 운전해서 내가 이 여기에 왔다. 네. 굉장히 이제 아름답게 관측이 될 만한 곳을 가기 위해서 운전을 그렇게 오래 한 사람도 있고 어떤 사람은 유럽에서 날라왔다. 그래서 정말 많은 관광객들이 이걸 보기 위해서 미국을 찾았대요. Yeah, I, I, I went out of my house when it happened. Um, what? And the sky was completely dark. It was amazing. 아, 선생님. 네. 이거 한국에서 관측은 되지 않았습니다. <웃음> 네, 재밌었어요. <웃음> 아까도 아까도 이 농담 노래 나가는 동안에 저한테 해줘 놓고서는 <웃음> 네. 농담 많이 아, 아니 아, 했어요. 아, 네, 네. 그래서 <웃음> 우리나라에서는 한 10여 년 후에 이런 비슷한 일식을 관측할 수 있을 거라고 해요. 한 2035년 okay. 그때쯤에. It's 응. a date. 그때 꼭 우리 서로 연락해서 <웃음> 보고 있어 어, 하도록 합시다. 자, 표현 볼게요. 음, 일단 total solar eclipse 이게 개기 일식이란 뜻이고 만약에 이제 부분 일식이면은 partial solar eclipse라고 할 텐데 this was visible in many places in North America meaning you could see it um, if you're watching on YouTube 음. Sue and I are visible right now hello yes we are visible hello you can see me 네. I'm visible I'm, if you're listening on the radio I'm not visible 음. I'm invisible invisible 반대말이고 안 보이는 거. Invisible 우리가 이제 투명하다 이렇게 네. 알고 있는데 안 보인다는 뜻이에요. Visible은 보인다라는 뜻이고. Uh, economic boom. Oh, it's a big success, a big increase. Mm. We talk about boom and bust. Boom 그쵸? is when things are going really well. Yep. Bust is when things are going really badly. So if there's an economic boom, people are making lots of money. 네, 그렇습니다. 경기 호황이라는 뜻으로 economic boom이라고 해요. 그래서 baby boom도 마찬가지로 네. 아기를 굉장히 많이 낳은 시기를 말하잖아요. 그래서 이 계기 일식으로 인해서 북미에서 굉장히 많은 그런 경제 효과, 경제 호황을 누릴 것으로 그렇게 보여진다고 합니다. 다시 한번 읽어볼게요. The total solar eclipse that was visible across North America on April 8th is expected to bring an economic boom to the U.S. with one estimate saying it could generate $6 billion in economic activity. Let's move on to the next headline. Residents of New York City's Manhattan were treated to quite the surprise recently when water spewed out of the side of a high-rise building like a powerful geezer. 
얼마 전 뉴욕 맨해튼의 한 고층 건물에서 물줄기가 폭포수처럼 쏟아지는 사건이 발생해 주민들이 놀라는 일이 있었습니다. What happened? Well, this is they're not exactly sure what happened, oh, but it was very surprising. It sure. happened in the Hell's Kitchen neighborhood on mm-hmm. 8th Avenue and West 42nd Street. Suddenly there was this leak. Mm. But when we think of a leak, we think of a little bit of water drip, trickling drip, out. Drip, drip, no? But this was like a, a, a huge <laughs> burst of water, a spew of water coming yeah. out. It didn't last too long. They managed to shut off the water. No injuries were reported. It's OK. a y mm-hmm. They're investigating what's going on. They're not sure. It could have been a burst pipe. It could be another issue with the plumbing system. Oh. Uh, they're going to find out, but certainly I don't think the residents were expecting this kind of uh, waterfall from a high-rise building. 그렇죠. 보통 우리가 기자, 뭐, 가이자라고도 하는데 어, 이런 거를 상상하게 되면은 이를테면은 큰 호수에서 우리 분수 이렇게 촤. 뿜어져 올라오는 거 있잖아요. 네. 이런 느낌인데 이게 어떻게 고층 건물에서 이런 물줄기가 나왔는지 아직 조사 중이라고 합니다. Okay, so people in Manhattan were treated to a surprise. Yes, if we're treated to something, we're given it. Um, uh-huh. And it's usually a treat. Mm. We can use it in a very positive sense. Something pleasant is being given to us. Yep. You know, Sue treats me to lunch, meaning she mm. takes me out for lunch. Or I treat Sue to some terrible jokes. <laughs> meaning I tell her terrible jokes. Um, you can also use it in a very negative sense. Mm. Use it in an ironic sense. Okay. You know, I was treated to an awful surprise. Uh-huh. 보통의 treat 의미는 사실 긍정적인 의미인데 어, 무언가를 아주... 음, 기분 좋게 경험하는 거, 기분 좋게 해주는 의미가 있어서 This is my treat. 그러면 은 내가 쏠게. 이런 뜻이 될수 있고요. 그 다음에 이제 음식, 달콤한 음식들을 우리가 또 treat라고 하기도 해요. 음. 그러나 이게 부정적으로 쓰이는 경우도 있습니다. 그래서 so, oh, I was treated to this awful surprise. Yeah. 이러면 은 약간의 반어법적인 느낌도 있고 treat는 원래 좋은 단어지만 이런 이런 걸 내가 경험했어. 아우 정말 안 좋았어. 이런 느낌도 될수 있겠죠. 자, 맨해튼 사람들이 경험했던, 목격했던 것을 이렇게 말했고 water가 어떻게 나왔냐면 spewing 했습니다. Yes. Oh, it's not a nice word for me. I don't like the sound of this word. S-P-E-W. Spew. Mm. Um, it means uh, shooting out forcefully. Yeah. Um, it also means vomit. Ah. So I remember there was a very famous comedy film, Wayne's World, where they mm. used this word spew. Ah. So that's why I don't like the sound of it. It doesn't sound very nice to me. 네. But yeah, it means forcefully coming out, some kind 음. of liquid. 우리말로는 뭔가 이렇게 징그럽거나 더러운 걸 보면 우리가 윽 이렇게 하잖아요. 네. 근데 영어로는 이유 이러거든요. 음. 근데 그 이유랑 발음이 비슷한 spew라는 맞아요. 단어가 원어민이 들을 때는 어 뭔가 좀안 좋은 느낌, 불쾌한 네. 느낌이 들수 있어요. 그만큼 이렇게 뿜어져 나오는 건데 이렇게 그냥 예쁘게 뿜어져 나온다기보다는 뭔가 이게 부악 하는 이런 느낌, 이런 이제 뭔가 분출되고 뿜어져 나오는 느낌이 있다. Spewing water. 자, 그러면 다시 한번 제가 읽어보겠습니다. Residents of New York City's Manhattan were treated to quite the surprise recently when water spewed out of the side of a high-rise building like a powerful uh, geyser. And let's move on to the final headline. A mind-boggling temperature jump in Antarctica has raised fears of a catastrophe, with scientists saying the abrupt critical transition in the continent's climate could have repercussions for both local ecosystems and the global climate system. 남극의 기온이 경악할 정도로 급격히 상승함에 따라 재앙에 대한 우려가 커지는 가운데 과학자들은 남극 기후가 이토록 심각하게 급변할 경우 해당 지역 생태계는 물론 지구 기후 전체에도 영향을 미칠 수 있다고 경고했습니다. 아, 그러니까 이게 그 일시적이긴 했지만 기온이 갑자기 엄청나게 많이 오른 적이 있었죠. 그거에 음. 대해서 한동안 과학자들이 뭐야? 이게 왜 그러지? 이런 mind-boggling situation이라고 봤습니다. Yeah, and we, we, the thing is, because it's very cold up there, it yeah. may not feel like a big difference, um, because cold is cold. Yeah. But it was What a was jump of 38.5 degrees mm. in a single day. Okay. Um, you know, and so if you think if it gets to 20 degrees today in Korea, mm. add 38 onto that, that's 50. Uh, 58 degrees. Yeah, that would yeah. be intolerable. Mm. So this is a big deal. This, this, they, they recorded this in 2022 in March. Right. But in the last two years, they've seen more and more of these hikes. Mm. Um, we're seeing, we're seeing more moist air 
warm moist air coming in from uh, Australia and from other areas. And that's sort of giving this um, polar heat wave, as mm. it were, that's causing these hikes. The thing is, um, we used to think that Antarctica was too cold to experience any sort of impact from global warming. Right. Now we're seeing it is impacted, mm. that there are these issues. And we're seeing, you know, levels of sea ice reducing. Mm. They were stable for more than a century, but now they have become unstable. And this could mean, well, who knows what for the future. Mm. Antarctic, 아니면 Antarctica 하면 은 남극, 남극 대륙 얘기를 하는 거죠. South Pole. 어, 그래서 거기서 물론 여전히 춥지만 그래도 어쨌든 이 기온 차가 너무나 크게 난 것이 기록상 2022년도의 기록이긴 해요. 근데 그동안 계속 과학자들이 왜 그랬을까? 무슨 이유일까? 그러면서 이해할 수 없는 상황이다라고 해왔어요. 이거를 mind boggling이라고 합니다. I just don't understand what it means. So... It's, it's mind boggling. Yeah, mm. if something is mind boggling, it is unbelievable. It is impossible for us to conceive. 그렇죠. For example, um, scientists have said that you know that the universe is infinite. I can't. My brain yeah. cannot cope with that statement. Can't wrap your head around yeah, it. Because yeah, because infinity is impossible to think about in any logical or real term. Mm. Therefore, it's mind-boggling. It's it making my mind go... Ugh. 바로 이런 소리가 진짜 연상이 되는 단어예요. Yeah. Mind-boggling. 그래서 도저히 이해할 수 없는 어, 그런 상황일 때 it's mind-boggling 이렇게 말할 수 있겠고요. Uh, repercussion이라는 단어는 또 무슨 뜻일까요? Well, it's a negative thing or a negative factor that comes after something that's happened, that's caused by it. For example, Sue, if you were to um, rob a bank, there would be repercussions. Oh, the police would come for you. You would get arrested. You'd spend the rest of your life in jail. Why me? Uh, sorry, if Ray was to rob a bank. <laughs> no, no, the point is, um, for example, at school, if you yeah. don't turn in your homework, there will be repercussions. Mm. You may get a bad grade, you may sure. get a detention, you mm -hmm. may get a suspension, who mm. knows? The point is, something negative is happening because of this thing, this 그렇지. action. 네, 안 좋은 결과라는 뜻입니다. 그래서 repercussions of this temperature rise in Antarctica. 남극 대륙에 이렇게 기온이 많이 올랐던 것이 만약에 앞으로 계속 된다면은 굉장히 안 좋은 결과가 나올 수 있다. 네. 그래서 이제 전체적으로 이런 그 기사들을 좀 살펴보게 되면은 뭐 펭귄이 멸종할 수도 있고 이런 얘기도 나와요. 그러면 정말 상상하고 싶지 않은 네, 그런 세상이 올 수도 있다라고 yeah. 경고를 하고 있습니다. Very scary. 네, 다시 읽어볼게요. A mind-boggling temperature jump in Antarctica has raised fears of a catastrophe, with scientists saying the abrupt critical transition in the continent's climate could have repercussions for both local ecosystems and the global climate system. Well, that's it for our headlines.